Hey guys, in this video we are going to be changing HTML content as well as the HTML attribute using JavaScript and HTML DOM. Now, uh, changing the HTML content is basically we have something inside our p tags, some random text, and we want to change it into something else. Now, let's create a, a syntax to change the HTML content, which is document dot get element by ID, which is what we're going to use. And inside here, we're going to have an ID name. And after that, we say dot inner HTML equals, and inside here, we are going to write some uh, new HTML. Okay, so let's have a p tag, make sure to close it. Oops, where's my, there it is. And let's give it an ID of p1 so it's easy. And say this is a simple paragraph. Graph. And let's create a function so that we could call this document dot get element by id dot in html a function i don't know my function with no arguments and we are going to wrap this with curly brackets i'm just going to indent it so that's easier to see and the id name is going to be p1 make sure to use a uh, double uh quotes yeah to wrap the id name and this new html because it's going to be a string is i'll use double quotes and i'll say i have changed my text or content and now finally we are going to be creating a button so that we could call this function when we press it so let's type a button type equals button and on click uh, equals and when I unclick I want to call the function my function and let's call it or click me and close it let's save our work and refresh there we go we have a text this is a simple paragraph and let's try clicking our button there we go we have used JavaScript and HTML DOM to change uh, our content inside our p tag from this is a simple paragraph to I have changed my content. So that's an easy and quick way to change your uh, HTML content. Uh, we could actually delete this for now. For now, okay. So we say document dot get element by id uh, p one, and we can actually uh, create a variable for this. So we could say var. Uh, I don't know my variable equals document dot get element by id p1 and then we could say uh, my variable dot in a html equals and some changed text here we can actually use the variable to actually declare a variable for this document dot get element id and then later on we could call the variable and say my variable dot in HTML equals and change the text. So let's do that. There we go. Same thing. It's just another way of writing it, and sometimes it's more easy. It's more helpful. Sorry. <coughs> it's more helpful to uh, separate these two and use the dot in HTML later on than just all in one line. Now the next thing we are going to be looking at is changing the HTML attribute. Now, uh, HTML attribute is basically like the href in the a tag and the source in the image tag. And now we are going to change the source of our image tag using uh, JavaScript. Now the syntax we are going to be use zing is document dot get element by id, and we are still using id here id name dot attribute equals and then new attribute here okay so let's delete this p tag for now keep the function and my button and let's create an image tag uh, source equals something and yeah uh, that's it now if I go to my desktop I have two images flower.jpg and salmon.jpg i'll say my image is 
flower.jpg and uh, let's give it an ID of image1 and write the ID here image1 and let's change the attribute to uh, actually dot let's change the attribute to dot source equals uh, salmon dot jpeg so we are saying dot source in this case is the attribute we're going to change is going to be equal to this one so when I click a button it's going to change from the picture of a flower to a picture of a nice looking salmon dish so let's click and there we go that looks delicious I love salmon so that was an easy way of changing the attribute of an HTML uh, element just like our previous example when we change the content we can actually do the var x equals and then later on we could do the uh, change the source the element the attribute and so on but I won't write do that for now because I already showed you with uh, changing content in my next video we are going to be looking at how to change a CSS instead of HTML using uh, the DOM and JavaScript so thanks for watching and I'll see you later